Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, we explore how the underground sport of vitila has arrived in the U.S. But the truth is, it's been here for decades being played in the streets of New York. It's only recently made its mark in the American mainstream thanks to Red Bull. Created by the Dominican Republic as an affordable alternative to baseball, which requires lots of expensive gear, Vitila is played with a water jug cap instead of a baseball and a broomstick instead of a bat. The rules are similar to baseball, but the difference here is striking a water cap can be way more challenging than a baseball, which is why several pro baseball players are using the game as a training method to increase their hand-eye coordination. So batter up guys, because we have all you want to know about this fun game right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Welcome to the hood, oh, man. My name is Adalberto Garcia. I'm the president and founder of Betea. <laughs> 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 You know, the kids in the Dominican Republic, they have this big passion about baseball. They didn't have the resources to buy a regular bat or a ball. So they replaced regular ball with this cap and the regular baseball bat for a stick, a, a broomstick. So they started uh, playing this game and they named it Vitilla. Come on, let's go. Vitilla, the company, basically, it was created in order for us to promote the game and help kids to become better baseball players using this concept. If they keep practicing this game over and over and over, they can develop their hand-eye coordination and they can play better baseball. The magic about this game is that it's uh, much more difficult than regular baseball. It involves throwing a very small bottle cap, hitting it with a very thin bat. And what that does is obviously increases the hand-eye coordination, but the main importance is the off-speed intelligence that is learned from seeing so many different pitches in terms of curves, sliders, risers. The kids in North America, they're not supposed to throw a curveball, sliders, any of those off-speed pitches until they're about 12, 13, 14. But with Batia, kids from as little as they can walk are able to easily replicate these pitches and that really translates into a much better baseball player. So this is the cap. It was derived off the five gallon water jugs in the Dominican Republic. I'm usually only the hospitals were allowed to get these specific water jugs so kids all around the area would go through garbage, run and try to steal the, the best cap and run all the way home and play for hours. So the construction of it, having one open end, creates a lot more turbulence. So it allows it to cut through the wind in magical ways, zipping and zagging and just doing everything. So obviously that creates a harder you know, ability to hit. And also the fact that it's so much smaller is about 50% smaller than a normal baseball. So it allows the hitters to really increase their hand-eye coordination. And when they step into the batter's box with a real baseball, the thing looks like a beach ball. <laughs> oh, what happened? As you know, Dominican is the best country at baseball, and 99.99% .99 of them played this sport growing up. So we figured that it should be brought into the whole world so that they can really experience uh, one of the critical aspects that helped Dominicans be the best country at baseball. So we've been working with Red Bull for a couple years now. We actually worked with them back in the Dominican Republic, and now we brought this to the USA, to the Bronx. It's more action-packed, so there's less fielding, no walks, just strikes, a lot more hitting. So it's very similar in the fact of baseball, just a little sped up, so to speak, uh, to add more, uh, add more batting, add more hitting, and just action. My plan and my vision with Bitia is to spread it to other countries, not only the United States. Right now it's being played in Canada as well, and it's being played in Europe. We see it as its own independent sport, and my goal here is to bring this into the Olympics before I die. So we're going to get it all around the world. I heard they just put three-on-three -three basketball in the Olympics. If we can have three-on-three -three basketball, we can have some Batia in the Olympics. So we got to grow it around internationally first, but that's our mission. We just want every baseball player to be better. That's our main purpose.